Following a petition by the National Association of Law Students to Parliament, the Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee of the House recommended that the General Legal Council remark the scripts of the 2019 bar exams of the students who were said to have failed. In this episode of News Connect, I will be soliciting the views and opinions of students of the law school as well as members of this association to find out what they make of the recommendation as well as proposed reforms. My name is Akosuya Ofewa Opoku. You are tuned in to News Connect on City TV. Do stay tuned. In my opinion, the current law, Act 32, is not the problem. The problem is the exercise of discretion in the implementation of Act 32, Section uh, 13, which deals with arrangement for legal education. Because the current law, as we have, states that the General Legal Council is supposed to make arrangements for legal education as they deem fit, in particular, through a school that they will set up or through any other educational institution. The law is already there. The problem we are having is that in the implementation of that um, section 13, um, I believe uh, 2, the General Legal Council deemed it fit to set up the Ghana School of Law, which has set its purpose all these 60 years. But now faculties have increased. And instead of implementing the very leg that the law contemplated. In other words, the law contemplated that there will come a time that even if the school, the General Legal Council sets up a school, there will be the need to also work through other educational institutions. It is that part of it that the General Legal Council, excuse me to say, has dragged its feet over the period. And here, I use the word drag its feet because if you have set up the school of law, and you have set up the Independent Examination Board Now Committee, then it clearly states or situates the Ghana School of Law as only a study center, just like the way we have various secondary schools and primary schools and WIAC exa examination body. So why continue to keep monopoly for the professional law course at the Ghana School of Law? You could have simply delegated it to any of the institutions come up with um, um, an ally as to how these institutions will be accredited. Or better still, just leave it to the student, just like other professional courses. I think the challenges that we face in terms of the persistent failures are far-reaching. And um, another recommendation the committee made was to ensure an overhaul of Act 32, which regulates um, legal uh, the conduct of the legal space in this country. And we think that is also very important because in our petition, we make certain recommendations as to the restructuring of an independent examination um, council to ensure we have more lecturers. And uh, more, uh, for instance, we also have students on a general legal council to ensure that the interests of students are always advocated for. So we think that the remarking in and of itself is not enough to stem the rising tide of um, persistent failure. We think that um, an overhaul of the system, which is what we're asking for in the very first place, we think that a conversation needs to be had. Act 32, when it was passed over 50 years ago, has outlived its purpose. And we think that Parliament rightly recognised that Act 32 and the LI that regulates the conduct of examinations and other stuff in this in the space has outlived its purpose. The first and important thing we are looking at is to ensure there's no bifurcated means of legal education, such that the law faculties, as is done in a lot of countries, are empowered to carry out the procedural part of the training program. As you know, it's the law faculties handle the substantive law, and then the Ghana School of Law does the procedural part. We think that is um, a system that doesn't need to exist in this century and in this decade. We think that the law faculties can be empowered to ensure that they train these um, students in both procedural law and substantive law. And then the Independence Examination Committee or Council in whichever form can set a standardized examination for the bar. So like people go to these law faculties, acquire all the knowledge in terms of procedural law and substantive law and set a standardized bar examination and when you pass, you are called to the bar. We don't think the regulator should be conducting um, any form of legal education in and of itself. We think the regulator should be an independent body and not conducting the education itself. Leave it to the law faculties, let the law faculties do these things. The second, things we are, second thing we also ask for is more accountability in terms of marking of scripts and evaluation of students. We think when there's more accountability, there's very little room for people to assume that there's any form of mafia or prevention of a mass production of lawyers. 
finally the um, the other point i want to talk about is the inclusion of academia especially people that are on hand teaching students at these law faculties to be heavily involved in the decision making of the general legal council when it comes to students because they know firsthand they have interactions with students and they should be able to better express the challenges that students are facing so to that extent and ensuring that students serve on the uh, like committees such as this that involve decision making of students so that students are always in the know or students' um, interests are always put forward when these decisions are made. We think all these elements must be inculcated very importantly in any future act that regulates the legal space. I have a problem when people stress a lot on the improvement of legal education because of the events of 2019, uh, October 7th, 2019, because it, it continues to create the impression that the students really, really failed and there is a problem with the system and so you have to revamp legal education to solve the problem. But that is not true because if the students really, really failed, we wouldn't be saying that we want remarking. The truth is that are there bad students? Yes. Are there students who are hardworking but really struggling with the course? Yes. But you have that in every school. So I would be lying if I came here to say all the law students in this country are A students. It's not true, honestly. And so it is not the case that majority of the students in Ghana are bad. If you go to other disciplines in medicine there's no other discipline in this country where you have 93 percent of students failing if we had 93 percent of bc students failing he heads would roll somewhere if we had 93 percent of wasi students failing heads would roll somewhere it doesn't happen anywhere they have to ensure that next you know this year when the next batch are writing that undertaking that they were, we were made to sign the students don't sign it again make sure that there is an opportunity for remark and let the students understand what the the requirements of the exam are and if and this is unlikely but if in the unlikely event that it is true that 93 percent of of students fail then yes we should see how we are going to you know reform legal education what i will say though is that whatever that conversation about reform is it has to include the students currently the glc is made up of the glc regulates legal education and it regulates the legal profession you have representatives from the legal profession which is members of the ghana bar association on the glc you have representatives from the judiciary from the judiciary on the glc you have no students on there but it is really the students that understand the problems with legal education because we are the ones in the classroom and so if you don't have you know, the, the, the leaders of the, the, the students' associations in there contributing to the decisions, whatever reform that, you know, um, whatever people are going to sit in whatever room to come up with will come with some problems and we will come back here again. And so if we really are looking to solve the problem at the root, then the students must be, con must be included in the conversation. The world has moved away from one-shot examination. When you go to every institution of study from the basic school to the universities, we are doing what is now called continuous assessment because it is believed that just one short examination cannot determine what really the, the learner has acquired. So let with me, if any reform is going to be made now concerning legal education and looking at the explosion of population and the interest that is coming in with regards to the number of people who want to read law, my first recommendation is that the law school should be expanded to accommodate more students. At least, students about 1,000, 1,500 could be admitted in a year. And then, uh, you know, there should be a liberal way for the students to know what they are supposed to study. And they should be aware of the marking scheme that they are going to answer the questions based upon. Because when you go to the investors, they will give you a course outline. And the course outline will determine to you what the lecturer wants from you. So what is it, why is it that when you go to the Makola Law School, the things are shrouded, what you are going to learn and what you are going to do is shrouded in secrecy. And that would be all for this episode of News Connect right here on City TV. My name is Akosia Ofewa Opoku. Keep watching City TV.